We come with good news and bad news sometimes, and today we're talking about tech layoffs. Now in 2023, uh, we saw more than 240,000 roles leave in the tech industry globally, with many tech giants shaving their workforce throughout the year. And now in the second month of 2024, the trend still persists. And to dig deeper into this, I'm joined by our tech guru himself and host of Tech Files right here on KTA News, Kelly Boss, with an analysis of this particular situation. Will it land in Kenya with these layoffs or not? Over to you, Kelly. Thank you very much, Noah, and shaving their workforce indeed. And I'll start this tech layoff in, uh, conversation with what happened in 2022 because we had never had this type of conversation. But towards the end of 2022, in November 2022, to be exact, there was a lot of layoffs and that came out of, uh, out of the Silicon Valley. And this, is, this was because just before this was the pandemic, if you think about it, it was around 2019, 2018, 2020, 2021. So these tech companies really needed a lot of tech workers. And so they inflated their number, the amount of people they used to use. And after that is around 2022, uh, towards the end, they thought they should get leaner and just get like any other you know legacy company because if you think about it tech companies way back used to be one of those you know uh, silvery type of company but right now they're as, as legacy as the next company and they're in the stocks so for you to survive in the stocks you have to maybe survive by getting a leaner company and as the new facebook ceo talks about it just uh, talked about it just yesterday he talked about uh working with efficient so a year of efficiency so i think even as we are going to talk about layoffs you shouldn't be so uh, you know so uh, afraid of whatever is going on it's just that these tech companies are becoming the legacy companies and they have to work with efficiency and getting lean is part of being efficient so when you look at these numbers, if you look at it, 2022 looked at uh, was the worst year because the 165,000 uh, 165,000 layoffs was almost the last quarter. Was all almost the last quarter because we had never experienced this before November. And then come 2023, it had nearly 50 percent uh, increase from 2022 because the pattern kept on going. And then in 2024, that's now where the problem is because we thought towards the end of 2023 we are losing this pattern because we saw uh, maybe the past uh, the last four months could have 9,000, an average of 9,000 layoffs. But in 2024, it started on a high. It looked like nearly 2023, but 2023 started with around 90,000 layoffs in January. But at least this has around 30K in January, and then February looks like it will end with around 20,000. So if we go to the next slide, um, the biggest tech layoffs, I think, in January especially, uh, or so far this year, um, is... Uh, PayPal, I've seen PayPal because late last year they had 2,000 and early this year they've already hit 2,500 and this makes up around 9%. This is the biggest, not because of the numbers, because some of these guys have 8,000, but really the percentage is maybe lower, but this hits around 9% of PayPal. And some of these other companies, are, you, can, uh, you can mention them, uh, companies that have set up in Kenya, really big offices, so this directly impacts the local, the local uh, em tech employee. And of course, as we move on to the next slide, I think uh, the posture of tech employees, I, I don't think should be that uh, working for tech is bad. It's just that as you look for tech employments, you should look for security too. And then some of the tech layoffs that have happened in Kenya, as I've mentioned, Microsoft is one of them that has their, their offices around and laid off a couple of Kenyans. But as I said, look for security as you look for a job in Kenya. Uh, companies as we move to the next slide, like uh, Sandy and Twigger Foods also uh, really got people off. Now, this slide is what I'm interested in now because uh, the reasons why these layoffs are happening is because, as I mentioned earlier, during the pandemic, there was a lot of inflated type of empl employment from these tech companies. And the reason why is because, you know, demand. Zoom comes up. Zoom was, was available always, but because of the pandemic, they uh, bloomed as a company and they had to hire much more. Right now, they are one of the companies that are laying off people. I just couldn't get hold, hold of their actual numbers. They could be a very good example to ex to explain the pandemic hiring hinge. And because I don't have time, I'll move on to this uh, list. Don't move on from this slide. I'll continue this uh, list so fast. And the shift in business priority is in this, uh, you know, these tech companies work uh, in collaboration. So for example, LinkedIn as a company could be a company in itself, could lay off maybe say a thousand people, but the companies that work with LinkedIn or support LinkedIn in terms of maybe the educative part or, you know, the other systems in LinkedIn, could be now, um, maybe if LinkedIn are shifting towards AI, some of the companies are li 
collateral, get the collateral damage and everything. And then finally, Noam, uh, on the benefits to, uh, to being leaner. This, uh, yeah, this is a mention that was done by the Meta CEO just recently, is that as these tech companies grow, uh, they compete with other companies that are not basically tech companies, and they compete on stocks. So some of the things that they have to do, as I mentioned earlier, is getting leaner and the power of working efficiently